What's going on guys? It's your boy Ray here. Welcome back to the episode of Bleach Brave Souls. But today, today we are doing things a little differently, my friends. So in today's video, we are going to be going over the Thousand Year Blood War characters round two. And I made a complete guide to the best builds uh, for items and for character links on each character, guys. Because I figured some of you guys are going to be asking me, Hey Ray, what's your favorite build? What's the best build? For these characters guys um unfortunately i could tell you but i don't have a lot of the items that i included in today's video um so that's why i decided to like put it on a spreadsheet for you in case you do have the items give you variants if you don't have the items and just give you different things you could run you might not have any of these items and if you don't that's completely fine but this is for people who are asking me what is the best build to run for each character guys so that's what i decided to do and there's a word document down in the description below if anything is too hard to follow there's a word document you can follow down with me um but i'm sure to be putting some stuff up on screen for you guys so this is for you homies uh if you enjoy any of this leave a like on the video because i worked really hard like i want to say i worked like four to five hours getting all the images pictures um just writing everything down for you guys on this worksheet and i'm gonna have a free download for everybody Shout out to Captain MZ, shout out to the Bracels FYI. I used a lot of their images. A lot of stats were from there. So there's a link to them in the description and in the Microsoft sheet. I also recently donated uh, a, a little bit of money towards uh, Captain MZ and his website just to give back. So shout out to you, homie. I DM'd you, hopefully you got it. And um, yeah, I appreciate everything you do. So without further ado, guys, let's hop in to the video. Alright my friends, so Thousand Year Blood War Round 3 is just around the corner. It is going to be coming out on the 31st and that is like super close guys. So today we are going to be going over the best links and items for Mongol characters Round 3. This is all taken from the Bracels FYI. Everything is calculated. I use the calculator for everything. So if I messed up anything, feel free to correct me down below. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm just a human. I did this just to give back to you guys, uh, to those who were going to ask. That's the only reason why I did this. I don't really benefit at all from this, and I don't think I'm above anybody. Because you know how people on the internet like to just hate for no reason and think that because I'm sharing this information you guys, I think I'm smarter than most of you. But I'm not. Honestly, I'm probably a lot dumber than most of you guys. Um, some of you guys... Maybe I'm a little smarter than nope. some of you guys. Are. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm probably dumber than most of the people. So anyways, guys, today we're going to be doing this. So starting off with, the, in my opinion, one of the best Nad characters in the game that's going to be. I know some people weren't as hyped for him, but we're starting off with none other than True Zongetsu. I'm just going to call him True Form Ichigo, guys. Let me know what I should call him down below in the description or in the comments, and then I'll start calling him that when I'm pulling for him, but I'll just call him... Uh, true form Ichigo, I guess. Okay, so Ichigo links the three best links you can use on Ichigo. Well, honestly, there's only one that's really mandatory, and the other two are debatable. But um, I'm using them for the statistical purposes. So number one, the most important character that you want for Ichigo is none other than Tech Izuru, guys. Yes, Tech Izuru is the only 25 normal attack damage character for green. There's no other 25% NAD green characters in the game. The problem with Izuru is that he only has 646 attack guys, making him a pretty low attack. So the boost you're going to be getting, say you have a 20 link slot, this whole video, I'm gonna be talking as if you have two, uh, three 10, 10, 10 link slots. That's why this is a fully maxed item and link video. So assuming you have a 10 link slot, which would give 20% of the stats, 20% of 646 guys is 129 bonus. So from Tech Izuru, you're getting 25 NAD and 129 bonus, which is great. The next, um, like I said, these ones can be debatable. There's a few other tech characters that are 20%. There's at least seven or eight 20% tech characters, but these ones are the highest attack 20% tech characters, meaning they will give the highest link slot bonus. That is why I chose them. You can use whatever other tech characters you want. Tech Izuru is irreplaceable because he's 25. The rest are replaceable. Apache. Tech Apache, guys. Well, there's only one version of her, but yes. She's 20% normal attack damage, 
she has 721 attack guys so with a 10 link slot which would give 20 percent it would be giving a total of 144 bonus attack to the uh, character, which is amazing. Consider considering that Izuda is only giving 129, 144 is a pretty big jump, guys. And third, but least, the character that I love the most, I have a, such a good bond with, Tech Love. Surprisingly, Tech Love is a pretty decent character link for any Tech Nav characters, guys. He's a 20% normal attack character with the third highest attack for Nad for perp, uh, for Green. Sorry. Uh, with with a NAD build is what I mean is 689 attack with a 10 link slot giving 20% that would be a total of 137 bonus attack guys so what does this mean if we add all that up together guys he would be getting an additional 410 plus stats to his normal attack on top of 771 guys he's getting an additional 410 which would give Ichigo a total attack stat of 1000 181 without items guys he's already over 1k without items um with an 85 percent nad boost which you're going to be getting from the 25 the 20 and the 20 link the 320s which is ichigo apache tech and then the techie zudo you're going to be getting an 85 nad boost and 85 percent of 771 guys is 655 so if we add all those together we're getting 771 which is ichigo's base attack we're getting 655 from the NAD boost, that's just taken directly from the uh, 771. And then we're also getting an additional 410 from the link boost. So that's giving Ichigo a total of 1,836 attack stats without items, guys. Without items, which is crazy already. Plus his character has flurry, so that's gonna be doubled when he's attacking. Um, the thing that I think I might've messed up on, that I could be wrong, guys, so feel free to correct me if I am, is that the 85% NAD, I don't think counts towards any item boost or any boost. I think it's just directly from the 70, 771, the base attack stats. I think that's where you draw the NAD from. So that is what I did for Ichigo. I just took it from his NAD, which is 771. I got 655 out of it, and then I added the 410, and that's where I got my total, guys. If that is wrong, if the 85% NAD is from the whole total, then feel free to let me know, including link slot and bonuses. Feel free to let me know, but... I feel like if it was like that, it'd be way too OP. So this is probably how it is. Moving on to items, guys. You can run Ichigo as a hybrid build. I saw a little bit of debate in the comment section down below. You could feel free to run him as a hybrid build um, because his strong attacks are very unique and very cool. But this character, personally for me, is going to be a NAD type character. And that is how I built him in this description. So this is, in my opinion, the best build for him. You can run how, whatever you want. This is, like I said, my opinion for the best build. So adding a gold chappy for green, a regular chappy, and a hollow bait with all 30% uh, attack rolls will have an additional 186% attack, guys. So 186% of 771, which is Ichigo's base stat, is 1,434, guys. So adding it all up on the menu, um, as you will see, it's going to be... 771 base stats mixed with 1434 item stats mixed with 410 link stats from all the link slot bonuses that would be giving ichigo a total of 2605 attack guys you will see 771 and then next to it where you see the plus bonus you will see um 1000 844 and then together you're gonna get 2605 guys that is crazy high attack i think that's the highest attack possible in the game right now considering ichigo has the highest attack in the game so with all the bonuses that you're going to be getting with the items you're going to be getting he's going to be a trap even without link slots guys if you have the hollow bait with 30 attack the regular trap with 30 attack and the gold chap with 30 attack which i do except for the gold chap i have 20 percent attack on that um, he's going to be getting an additional 1,434. So you're going to be over 2,100 attack stats, 2,200 without even a single link slot boost, guys. So even if you guys don't want to run that, he still is going to have an amazing attack. So you still have 2,195 
Nah, oh my god, guys. Ichigo is going to be a beast. Um, so that is it. And that's not including the 85% nag that you'll be getting from using the links. So Ichigo, guys, is going to be a monster. I don't know why people were looking down on him. His strong attacks looked really sick. But I feel like they're better for uh, breaking melee or range guard and then saving his nad as his specialty. Honestly, I can't wait for this character. Just watching the K-Lab station play with him yesterday made me really excited to see him and use him for myself. So that is Ichigo, guys. What a beast. And that is, a, my, my opinion, the best build for him. Next, we got Renji, guys. So Renji... Is a great character as you guys know he's a 14 recharge character with 751 stamina or sp sorry so the three best links for renji is going to be thousand year blood war yachidu number one thousand year blood war yachidu she is one of the must-haves i would say for him because she is a 14 strong attack recharge character which is already like amazing which is what you need she has 737 SP. So that's a lot of SP bonus, guys. You're going to be getting 20% of that with the level 10 link slot, which equals to 147 bonus SP, guys, which is amazing. So number one, I would say, is Thousand Year Blower Yachido. She is going to be a must-have for this character. Number two, Full Bring Rukia, guys. Full Bring Rukia, as well, is a power 14 recharge character, guys. Our 14 strong attack cooldown character, guys. She has... Unfortunately, 655 SP due to the fact that she came out. She came out like over a year ago, almost over a year ago. So the thing with her is you can't expect her to have too high SP. But regardless, she still is a 14 recharge for red. So we should be grateful for her. 10 link slot with 20% bonus from 655 will give you guys a total of 131. So it's a 16 uh, percent stat difference, but or plus 16 SP, not a big deal, but still one of the must-haves. And then the third slot, you can use whoever you'd like. Um, you can use any other 14 recharge if you don't want the link. You can use a 12 recharge red. But for me, in my opinion, the best link in the game for characters like this, for strong attack characters, especially red ones, is Frenzy Biakio, guys. He is also a must-have in my opinion. Um, but like I said, some people missed out on him, so you can replace him with any other 12 red link in the game, or um, which, which there's a bunch of, which we'll go over in the future. Um, or you could just, I don't know, not not use the link. This is for links, okay? So the problem with Biakia is he only gives 10% strong attack cooldown, but he gives an additional 18% uh, strong attack damage boost, which is amazing. He is a frenzy character, so he has low stats. So he has 529 SP. Make him one of the lowest SP characters in the game, actually, as a six star. Um, he only has, so he only gets 105 bonus uh, SP from this, which is still not bad. So combining them all together, while Renji has 751 SP, you will be getting 147 from Yachiru, 131 from Rukia, 105 from Biakia, giving you a total of 383 SP. Adding that to the 751, you are going to be getting 1,134 spiritual pressure stats on this character with just these links, with no items, which is already amazing. On top of that, you also have a total of 50% recharge from all the characters, 12, 14, 14, and 10. But on top of that, you'll also be getting 18% strong attack damage. So you'll have his strong attacks cut in half. And you'll be getting an 18% strong attack damage boost, which is why I love the Biakia link. So, 18% of 751 guys is 135. So, adding 751 to 383, which is the bonus from the links, plus 135, you're getting a total of 1,269 spiritual pressure and 50% strong attack uh, recharge, strong attack reduction without items, guys. So, other links you can use in case you guys don't have... Those characters that I included, there's Thousand Year Blood War Toshiro, who is only a 12 recharge, but has amazing stats, has 749, so he'll be getting almost identical 20% boost. Uh, like, he is the best boost to give if you don't have the 14 recharges because he has the highest stats. Mila Rose is also really good coming in with, um, she only has 640 spiritual pressure, but she still is a great 12 recharge link if you don't have nothing else. Senna is also good coming in at 741 SP, which is amazing. So there's a lot of other varieties you can use. If you don't have any of these characters, then this doesn't apply to you guys. Next is the item. So unlike Yam, 
Um, unlike sorry Ichigo, which I would run with just a NAD build, this character you could run with different tactics, different SP builds. So this is what I'm going to show you guys is the best builds. I don't even have most of these items myself. Um, so for those who don't have any, just run as much SP as you can is all I can say. But for those who do, this is for you. So depending on if you are a focus fan or not, which personally I am, I just love the crits and the focus. And to me, they do make a big difference, especially in time trials. They they can help you a lot. They can shut off a few seconds. So I'm a focus person, but if you're not, then you can use either the dispenser tactic or the fortification build tactic. So number one, we're going for the dispenser tactic and we're gonna be discussing as if all these items have a 30% SP roll. So this is pretending that every item has the max SP roll. So, the first one is the dispenser tactic. Gold Yuki, Senna headband, and a gold Yuki, guys. So, the gold Yuki will give you a total of 60% more strong attack damage, while the Senna headband will give you 40, and then the red normal Yuki will give you 50. So, giving you a total of 150% more SP, 10% all other stats, and zero focus, guys. So, 150% of 751 is 1,000. 126 giving renji a total of 1877 spiritual pressure without links guys without any link bonuses nothing he's already at 1800 strong attack just from these items alone with links um it would be an additional 383 guys so 1877 plus 383 would give renji an additional 2260 sp 50% recharge on his strong attacks, 18% strong attack damage boost, 60% boost to his HP, but zero focus. So no crits. But the damage output would be so ridiculous at this point that some people won't mind not having crits. Next tactic, which is probably what I'm going to run considering I don't own a gold Yuki, is the no dispenser tactic. So what it is, is it's a fortification pill, a captain's rope which can be replaced with either a tension tie a headband whatever you're using it for i put the captain's rope simply because the fortification pill takes 30 percent of your hp away so i decided to reimburse it by giving 40 percent back so it's kind of like you just get a plus 10 then the senna headband again which gives you an additional plus 10 so you're getting plus 20 percent of your hp while still getting 130 percent sp so 60 from the fortification pill, 30 from the robe, 40 from the uh, headband would give you, or the Santa headband would give you 130 SP. For HP, you're gonna be getting minus 30% HP, plus 40% HP, and plus 10% HP, giving you 20% more HP than you normally would. And then, so 130% of 751 guys is 976, giving Renji a total of 1,727 SP, which is, Honestly, only 150 SP off of the other build would be Gold Yuki, which does make, I guess, a decent difference, but 1,700 is still amazing. And then if you add the stats from the 10 to 10 link slots of 383, you're getting 2,110 SP, 50% recharge to your strong attacks, 18% additional strong attack damage, 20% boost to the HP, but... He will have such high focus stats that you'll almost always be critting every single time, guys. Your crits are going to be through the roof on this one. So it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. You're going to see that, like, I want to say, like, one in every three hits is going to be a crit, guys. So at least once in every attack string, you're going to have a crit, which is going to shed a lot of time off the new mode, the guild quest, any inheritance times you're trying to beat, any raids or time-based events that we have in the game. This is going to be the best technique for it, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, feel free to replace the cabin drill with a tension tie for his ultimate attack, whatever you feel is right. If you don't mind at having low HP, you can replace it with anything, guys. And last but not least, the build for Renji. The funniest one, in my opinion, the no fucks given. That, you know, the no fucks given, give me that SP tactic. So this one is involving a gold Yuki, a regular Yuki, and a fortification pill guys so the reason why i don't normally run these two together is because the fortification pill um gives you focus where the yuki takes away focus so it's kind of like losing out on a 30 percent but it still does give you 30 percent sp with a 30 percent roll it'd be 60 percent. so it's the best you could do so 60 percent from the gold 50 percent from the normal and 60 percent from the pill you're getting 170 percent sp guys 
So you're also getting plus 30% HP from the original Yuki, the gold Yuki, 20% from the from the normal Yuki, and then minus 30% HP from the pill, giving you a total of 20% boost. And then so 170% of 751 guys is 1276, giving Renji over 2000 uh, SP without links, 2027 to be more specific, without any links guys. Let's add the links. Adding it all up would give Renji a total of 2,410 SP with 50% recharge, 18% strong attack damage, 20% boost to HP, but zero focus. So no crits, but with SP that high, I don't know who's surviving. I don't know who's going to be surviving your attacks, but that is the uh, no Fs given, give me that SP tactic. I don't want to swear too much because I don't want to get demonetized, but you know what it is. So... Renji's going to be a beast, guys. Having his recharge time cut in half with the destructive force of his high strong attacks mixed with his amazing range, mixed with his amazing SP, he's going to be a top tier character. And Renji, you will be mine. Last but not least, guys. Sorry if you're here this long. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the homies. So I'm going to try to rush through this one. I won't keep it as long. But last but not least, second anniversary Ichigo is going to be the best link for the speed Rukia. So, why I say that is because he is a 25 strong attack damage character for blue. He is one of the two only strong attack damage characters for with 25 for blue, and he is a beast, guys. He has 729 SP, which is one of the highest in the game, in my opinion, for blue. Um, not in my opinion, it is one of the highest in the game for blue, uh, with a total of... 145 bonus SP you're going to be getting from the 20% link slot, which is why Ichigo is ranked number one. Number two, which is another must have, um, is Soon Soon, guys. So Soon Soon is the other only 25 strong attack damage blue link in the game. She has 700 SP, and with the 20% link slot bonus, she's going to be getting 140 bonus. So 145 from Ichigo, 140 from her. Those are like the two must haves, in my opinion, if you want the max build. And Third, this can be replaced with any blue character. I put a list of other blue characters you can use. Yoruichi, the, the Kakawa Society version. Shunsui, Thousand Year Blood War, Halle Bell, Jushiro, uh, Tag Team Mayuri, whatever you have. But the best one that you could run is Toshiro movie version, guys. So Toshiro movie version is a 20% sad character only, but he has 745 SP, making him the highest SP blue character uh, in this game with with a 20 percent link that is um and he has 149 bonus sp from the 20 percent 10 link slot which is amazing so like i said there are other characters you can use them but those are the best ones so considering you have three 10 link slots you will have 745 sp from rukia making your title with toshiro uh you'll get 145 bonus from ichigo 140 bonus from Soon Soon and 149 bonus from the Toshiro, uh, giving you 434 bonus with adding it up to Rukia 745. You have 1,179 SP without items, guys. And this is without the additional strong attack. So on top of that, you'll receive an additional 25, 25, 20, 20, 90% strong attack damage boost from all the links, 745, 90% of that is 670, guys. So 745 plus 670 plus 434 for the link slot is 1,849 total SP for this character. Without items on, guys. Without items on, you're getting this. Um, counting the strong attack damage boost, you're getting this, which is crazy. If, if I'm right about how the strong attack damage boost works, which is amazing already. Almost 2,000 without, I think, items. So for accessories, just like... Just like Renji, you can run um, different roles depending on which items you have and depending on if you're a focus person or not. They're almost identical builds, um, so we'll go over them quick. Instead of the um, double Yuki Senna headband, you're gonna run the double Yuki with the, it's called the Owen item, the blue Owen from the Toshiro movie 
uh, filler, like side story banner. Everybody can get at this point in the game. So it's a 10% all stats, and then you can have a 30% roll on it, which is going to be SP. So adding that up, it'd be 150% um, SP with all the items, 10% to other stats, zero focus. Uh, so 150% of 745 is 1,117 guys. Adding that to Rukia's already 745, she has 1,862 spiritual pressure without links. Adding the links to it, guys. She has 2,296 spiritual pressure with an additional 90% strong attack damage, which is insane, man, which is insane. She is going to be hitting like a truck, guys. She's going to be hitting like a truck. Um, the non-dispenser tactic is the exact same. It's a fortification pill, the uh, Owen item. And like I said, I, I ran the captain's robe just to make up for the lack of hp but you can run whatever you prefer tension tie whatever has 30 sp on it headband whatever you i don't really care um <laughs> so this one gives you her 30 percent 130 percent sp with 20 percent more hp giving her a total of 968 bonus stats with the 745 she has she has 1713 sp adding the links 2000 147 spiritual pressure with an additional 90 percent strong attack damage boost from the links guys amazing amazing this is without any gold items which is fantastic and it's not even that big of a difference it's literally similar it's like 150 off than the other one and then they know the no f's given give me that sp tactic would give her 170 percent sp so giving her 1266 bonus adding the 745 to that she's already over 2000 sp 2011 sp adding the 434 bonus rukia will be sitting at 2444 sp with an additional 90% strong attack damage, you'll have low health and zero focus, but you'll be hitting like a truck, guys. Um, like I said, also on the one before this, the non-dispenser one, you're gonna have such high focus that you're almost gonna be critting every time, which is amazing. So, regardless of Rukia being the one I want the least, she still is an amazing character. I would love to get all three, honestly, just for the collection purposes, but if I had to miss out on one, it'd be this beautiful, beautiful girl right there aka Rukia. So thank you guys so much if you stuck to the end. I know this was a long video, but I worked freaking hard on this, man. And I really hope it shows and I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, so I apologize if I miss or did anything wrong. Please don't rage at me in the comments. Just let me know down below nicely. I'm all for critiques. I'm all for feedback. But as long as it's positive feedback, that's going to help me become better. If you're just going to say you're shit, you're retarded, something stupid like that, I'm just going to give you the Ben Hanamer and I'm just going to move on, guys. But if you give me some nice facts, as to why I did something wrong or just, yeah, I'll be happy. So thank you so much for all the images and stats. Check out Bleach Bracelets FYI, aka Bracelets FYI. The link is gonna be in the description and in the notes that I left for you guys. And don't forget to donate and support them um, for what he does for our community. So the donation link is also there. And don't forget to subscribe to your boy Ray, guys. We're almost at 30K, we're at 400 subs off 30K. Get your boy Ray to 30K, guys. And uh, let's see if we can do this. If we can hit 30K subs, that'd be amazing this month that, or next month probably, but that'd be amazing. Also, I don't have a Patreon. I really want to make one, but I don't have one as YouTube revenue is really bad nowadays. So if you guys want to donate to my PayPal, um, even a dollar, there's a link in the description. Nothing is ever necessary, but it's always appreciated. And yeah, besides that, guys, let's get hyped for round three. Can't wait to see you guys there. And I can't wait to go live and summon with all of you together. So thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoy. Love you all. It's been your boy, Ray. And I'll see you guys in the round three of manga characters.